Hello, this is Jenna, your holistic practitioner. And today we are going to learn how to relax, relate, and release. Relax, relate, and release. You have to learn how to detox the mind and the spirit before your body can ever take on any type of healing journey that you will attempt. So we're going to do that today. I don't care if you're at work, if you're at home, if you're just getting home, if you're in the car transitioning from home going to work or work going to home, we are going to take a few minutes to just detox our mind and our spirit. I want you to take in a few breaths right now. This is to bring down your cortisol, your stress, to help your heart rate. And I want you to breathe after me. I want you to breathe in. And breathe out. You're going to breathe in through your nose. We're going to do that maybe two more times. Breathe in through your nose. And breathe out. We're going to take in another breath through our nose and out through our mouths. So what that does is you're taking in some fresh air and then you're going to breathe out. What we breathe out is going to be the toxins, the bad feelings, the bad memories, the bad experiences. You just want to take in positive energy and you're going to let out negative energy. The only way that you can really heal yourself of all the things that we have built up over the years is to surround yourself with positivity. Positivity cancels out negativity. Negativity cannot cancel out negativity. And negativity cannot produce positive feelings and vibes. So remember that. I know they teach us that, you know, you have to vacation and you have to do all of this to actually, you know, be relaxed and enjoy yourself. You have to go to the beach. You have to go to uh, Vegas or something like that. But really, if your mind is not at ease, it doesn't matter if you were in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean swimming around with dolphins and, and, and nice fish. It doesn't matter. Your mind is not going to be there. It's going to be toxic and you're not going to be able to enjoy yourself. How many times has someone tried to take you out to have fun but your mind was so bogged down with negative vibes that you couldn't enjoy yourself you're not in the moment you're in the past and when we constantly go every day in the past and not dealing with the present we are ultimately neglecting ourselves a lot of single parents do this a lot of people who care for others do this you're not thinking about yourself. You're thinking about others. You're thinking about other things that you had no control over. And it's literally bogging down your body. Negative vibes, it causes issues on our liver. Our liver is the organ to detox. So if you're constantly having negative vibes, anger, and things like that, you're going to be sick. Disease, disorders, discomforts are going to settle in your body because your mind has not fully detoxed. So right now, I want you to just, if you can, dim the lights down or just close your eyes and try to block out everything that's going on around you. Whether it's honking cars or 
a screaming baby or your spouse. You have to learn how to tune things out to reset this body. Let's try to do that. Right now, I'm giving you spiritual food. Spiritual food outweighs physical food because when you're spiritually full in a positive way, it's going to dictate what you eat physically. We have to protect this vessel. We have to protect this body that God has lent us. It is supposed to take us around for at least 70 years. It's not too many things on this earth that can live for 70 years. And you can get there with your mind right and your body right and your spirit right. But you have to do the work daily. So like I said, just clear your mind out for a little bit. All the people that have hurt you, look at them as teachers. Look at them as experiences to get you better. Don't look at them as people who've hurt you. Look at them as people who have taught you. See, it's all about how you look at things. It's all about how you perceive things. Forgive. Not necessarily forget, but forgive those people that you feel that have caused you harm. It doesn't mean that you necessarily have to go around them and open yourself up to them, but forgive them for your peace of mind and for your balance. You need balance. Negativity does not equal balance. So go ahead and let that go. Push it out. Push it out as far as you can where you cannot touch it nor see it. We're going to go forward in life in a positive manner. You're going to surround yourself with people who are positive because this is going to feed your spirit, your body, and your mind in a positive way. So if anybody around you is using expletives or, or talking negative, you are going to push yourself away from them, especially at the point you are now, which is a beginner. You're going to push out negative people out of your life for you to really reach the plateau in which you need to. You have to do this. You may see your circle getting a little smaller, but you will also see that your stress levels are going to go down. Stress is terrible on the body. It causes you not to think well. At this point of this video, you sh my voice should be coming through a little bit clearly, a little more clearly, clearer. Why? Because your stress levels are going to go down. When your stress levels are up, you can't listen, you can't see, you can't do anything. Because you're only trying to get out of that horrible situation that you are in. Again, I am Jenna, your holistic practitioner. If you need more guidance like this, please make sure you join the group. Join for one year. It's only $40. And I'll be doing more videos like this. Leave me a comment. If this has helped you, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for listening. And remember, to speak positive, you must think positive. We're working on the inner part, guys. So your outer part will be balanced. Have a great day.